I think you're going to have fun with this book because I like the name of it. It's called Myrtle. <laughs> Makes me think of a little old lady with rare and a cane. You're walking down the street. Maybe it makes you think of Myrtle the turtle. It's neither one of those things. Let's see what it really is. It's Myrtle by Tracy Campbell Pearson. Let's see what happens, okay? Myrtle was happy. Her mom loved her. Her dad loved her, her baby brother loved her, and she had a good life until, until what? Oh, this is going to be one of those books where the pages are goofy. Frances moved next door. Frances did not love Myrtle or her baby brother. Frances made mean signs, sang mean songs, and said mean things. Frances was mean. Oh. Yeah, I hope you're frowning too. When Myrtle's ball rolled into Frances's yard, Frances kept it for three weeks and two days. Myrtle only got it back because her baby brother found it. Frances had covered it with bubble gum and it stuck to his nose. Oh, how rude. I hope this book gets better. Frances liked to hide in the bushes and pretend she was a monster. She made the bushes shake and rumble. Myrtle was afraid of monsters and so was her baby brother. One time, Frances planted rubber snakes all over Myrtle's yard. She hissed and made them jiggle. Myrtle did not like snakes and neither did her baby brother. Poor Myrtle. The worst days were when Frances was quiet. Myrtle waited and waited for something terrible to happen. Sometimes it didn't, but it usually did. On one of those quiet days, Myrtle decided not to go outside at all. Soon, one day turned into many. Myrtle's parents called her favorite aunt, Tizzy, who was on a safari in Africa. Myrtle needs you, they cried. I wonder what's going to happen next. Aunt Tizzy dropped her binoculars and caught the first elephant out of the jungle. Before long, she was at her niece's house. Where's my Myrtle? She asked. In here, mumbled Myrtle from her closet. Oh my goodness, look at that bedroom. I hope your bedroom doesn't look like that. Wow. Aunt Tizzy spent the day in the closet with her niece. They had a tea party with Myrtle's favorite toys and they giggled and played. Aunt Tizzy had brought some African masks. They tried them all on and they roared and they howled and they yowled. What do you think Myrtle's face looks like now? Mine looks like this. What does yours look like? I think I'd like to have an Aunt Tizzy, wouldn't you? That sounds like so much fun. Myrtle told her aunt about mean Francis, and Aunt Tizzy told Myrtle about the mean lions in Africa. Weren't you so scared? asked Myrtle. Sure, but it wasn't going to let a few nasty lions keep me away from Africa, Aunt Tizzy said. What about when they roar, their mean lion roars, whispered Myrtle. I told them just stop being rude, and if they continued, I simply roared back replied Aunt Tizzy. I like Aunt Tizzy. She's got some gumption. Or sometimes, she added, I would just sing and dance until they were gone. When Myrtle came out of the closet, she felt bigger and stronger and happier. Look at her face. It looks like my face and I hope it looks like your face too.
We are going to have fun, Myrtle yelled. She grabbed her baby brother and all the toys she could carry. She ran past her mom, dad, and Aunt Tizzy and went outside to play. Francis was in the bushes singing mean songs. How rude, declared Myrtle. She's taken charge, just like Aunt Tizzy. Myrtle and her baby brother chased each other and like, roared like lions. They made up their own songs, silly ones, happy ones, and noisy ones. They were so loud, Frances could hardly hear herself sing. Myrtle and her baby brother danced. They wiggled and squiggled and ran around the yard. They laughed so hard her baby brother wet his pants. Frances came out of the bushes and waited for someone to notice her. Ah! Oh. But no one did. Myrtle and her baby brother chose not to let a bully distract them. And maybe my hope is that someday Myrtle and Francis could become friends because I bet that's what Francis was looking for. She just didn't know how to ask the right way. So hopefully there's a, a two, Myrtle two someday, and we get to find out whether or not Francis and Myrtle become friends. I did like this book. What did you think? Did you understand how Myrtle felt though? I think I did. Myrtle, and have a great day and keep reading. Bye-bye.